Hi, I'm Todd from Apex Base, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Multi-2. We're going to show you how to assemble it, pack it, and explain why it's a good feature for you to use. To assemble the Multi, we're going to have to find the canopy, and notice I've got the nose on one side, the tail on the other. Uh, we need to find the center cell. The center cell is going to have the traditional bridle attachment, and with the Multi-2, it's also going to have a ringless multi-attachment. The forward one with the ring is your standard bridle attachment. This is, if you wanted to use a single uh, bridle, this is where you would go. For the Multi-2, we're going to go onto both of these points. We'll get our package that has the Multi in it out. We'll pull out the two pieces. Those two pieces are one, a piece of Type 4, and there's also a piece of line. Both of these have loops in each end. For the ring, we'll put the Type 4. This is just like your bridle material. It's called Type 4 1 inch. And we will lark set it onto the ring like we're used to doing. You're used to seeing that with a bridle. You can tighten that knot. Then on the rear portion, the one without the ring, this is where we're going to put the line and we will Lark's head that as well. Okay, now that we have those two pieces on, we need our bridle. Okay, take the bridle. We need to find the end with the pins on it. So here are the curved pins, as well as the loop that is on that end. We'll take the Type 4 piece off the ring bridle attachment and the line. We'll hold those together. Now we'll take the bridle piece and we'll pass it through both of those. So it's going to go through the line and through the other piece of Type 4. Once that's done, we'll pass the bridle through its own loop and create the lark's head knot. And so now we have the forward ring with a piece of type 4 up to the bridle and then the rear ringless from the attachment all the way up to this point as well. So how does the Multi help the situation? So basically what we're doing here, uh, the forward portion of this attachment, the one that you're used to seeing, the, the single, is going to lift the parachute like it normally would. Okay. The reason we attach the rear one is so that during extraction that these two points stay basically side by side. What that does is it transfers the load of the tail pocket. Where does the load of the tail pocket come from? Well, the load of the tail pocket has a bunch of lines in it. It equates for about maybe uh, 30 to 50 percent of the canopy's total weight. And it depends if you've got a light canopy versus a standard weight canopy, but it's a lot of weight. That tail pocket wants to stay in your container, wants this continue in free fall with you. Um, what the Multi does is it prevents the tail pocket from being able to fall. It, get, it stops. So now it's going to stay right at your stabilizers during the entire uh, uh, extraction of the parachute. So there you have uh, the Multi-2 assembly, and we'll show you Multi-2 packing here in just a second. Okay, so you know the question is sometimes, well, how do you pack that thing? Well, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to start by getting the two ends of the, um, the Multi-2 together. So this end once those are together, nice little S fold in my hand, lay it on top, cover it up with the top flap. And then it's you know closed per normal. With the summit using the through loop, it's top flap, left side, right side.
Tuck that fabric out of the way. And then set the pin. Tuck my bridle in. Nice little pinch fold. And close the flap. And I'm set. So basically the multi is just S folded on the inside right there. My you're all set. Well, I hope you find that information helpful. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. We'll see you at the exit point.